The aim of the study was to look and see whether um, alternative crop establishment methods like direct drill and strip till could provide better uh, soil conditions during winter grazing. The benefit has been to get some science around it rather than on farm. We can direct drill one year and conventional cultivation the next year and we haven't run a control and we don't know if it's just to do with how that winter went, who was shifting the fence, what day it rained. Um, so to get this all in the same paddock, that is the beauty of, of this cultivation side of the experiment. There was a lot of people that are like, right, let's get this done. Um, and on our farm in particular, it was a great opportunity to share this information with all sorts of people. One thing that I'd never thought of and wouldn't have tried if I hadn't seen it in practice uh, as a volunteer in the study is actually winding the back fence up and letting them go right back to a dry piece of ground. I was just blown away by how passionate Southlanders and, and people in the community were about seeing things through and actually finding solutions. What this study's given me hope is that with minor changes we can significantly improve outcomes for soil, animals and people. Thriving Southland are a, an amazing organisation that provided us with funding for the project. We've been really excited at Thriving Southland to be part of this pilot programme and the next steps where they're looking to get a fully funded controlled scientific study. And we are really excited about what they find out and how it help farmers across New Zealand with their winter grazing.